the value of running backs Uh-oh. has been completely diminished. Yeah. And is the, is there something that should be done about it? It it, it upset <laughs> it upsets me because I think running backs are still very valuable. They somehow rigged up the pay scale and the system. <gasps> you don't think they're still valuable? I, 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 just I, just I, just just I just, I just remember just remember those same owners who you say you know share. they want to share. <laughs> just remember, there's one position that's went backwards. On the on the paying scale, when you look at the average of of the top running backs, it's gone backwards. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. But they want to give money. You know, away. you know, you know why it's going backwards. They didn't keep it. They didn't keep it there. They they took it backwards. And yeah, you know why? they're spending it on other positions though. The position is going backwards, Marshall. There's no more you. There's no more Roger Craig. Man, look, man, there's I no more Ladainian Thompson. I don't want to. Here's the thing that I say. I I just do it this way, Marshall. Name me one back. Other than CMC, Christian McCaffrey, that you have to worry about on first, second, and third down. Yeah, I worry it. about Derrick Henry on fourth down. Seriously. Because he might he might come back on the field. What? There's no there's no Derrick Henry's a monster. I I, I love Derrick Henry. You you don't like Derrick Henry? Derrick Henry had his run. I over. watched him carry this Ryan Tannehill for years. And it's over. But he did it. You can't it's tell over. me he's not valuable. It's over. You can't and, tell me he's and, and not it's valuable. Sure, it's gonna run out five years after you after the game, <laughs> and you say the owners want to share with him. With and you say well, the owners want to share with him. I'm gonna be honest with you, me. all right. The position has been devalued by the position, the players, and their willingness to come out of a game. Yep. And I, I'm I'm a pay attention to this. All right. A guy can go in, come, just come out of halftime, get the ball two times, and then let the other guy in. When, I, when I've started playing this game, the guy behind me was good enough to get the job done, so I'm going to stay on the field as much as I can because I don't want nobody else doing my damn job. And now it's... We share the position. <laughs> I'm the starter. He's the backup. We're in rotation. I ain't rotating nothing. nothing. And when you start the rotation, then you give an opportunity for somebody else to do your job and for people to see your job being done by someone else. Mm-hmm. One, of the, one, of the, one, of, one of my driving forces was my second year in the league, we go on a playoff run. I get hurt against San Diego. I'm watching Lamont Warren do my job. I'm like, I know what ability I got to have is availability. Availability. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know what I got to yes, have. <laughs> I know I got to be out there. And I, I tried to play whole games. We all grew up the Wallet. Whole Pitt. games. That name, that name rings in all of our heads as... 50 plus year old dudes. Wally Pip. That that name scares the hell out of any person that was in my era. You didn't want to be that. Wally Pip took one day back. off and Lou Gehrig went 21 30 on him. 2,130 straight games on his ass. That would never be me. You can't have my job, dog. When they drafted Anthony McFarlane after I was defensive player of the year in 99 and lost to him in the championship game, I come home, I'm watching the draft. With the 13th pick, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Anthony McFarlane. I remember driving up to the job for the for the uh, first camp. Woo! In the biz, music loud. Ah, whooped up on it. I said, young fella, you can play beside me, but you can never have my job. Woo! <laughs> you take pride in that, dog. You that's got, you that's what it, it is, man. You can't have it. You know, when you when you look at this thing, like I I I am I'm, I'm you know, I've known Zeke since he was a kid. Um <laughs> But if you don't let Tony Pollard get in the game and we start playing this we sharing Hello. stuff, he's still in Dallas. Same thing happened to Davin Cook. Uh, his was a little bit more on injuries. But you let him find out somebody, oh, hold on, wait, Mattis, oh, we, we, what? Yeah. What? okay, all right. Bye. Now I'm looking at, uh, okay, we'll keep Kirk Cousins. When, you know, obviously, I, I love Kirk. Kirk's been, Kirk's won a lot of games, done a lot of, but I just can't get over sometimes in the in like the big game? in the big game like the it's decisions over. that he made. 
He in the playoff game. It's fourth and 13. He throw a six-yard check down. Yeah, no. You got to push like, that ball down the field. That's just, you, you can't do that. But, but the guy that they get rid of is Dalvin Cook. It's like, that, that don't make sense to me. But it's because Dalvin made himself, guess what, guess what? Kurt, this, Kurt is missing, I think this is the first game he's ever missed that yes, wasn't just because they sat him down. Yep. And a lot of us, like the, the position, Chris McCaffrey is, oh, I got a 10 league. I'm playing. Yeah. I'm playing. <laughs> Don't no, worry about it. I'm get, playing. get my job. That's it. I also, though, think that the NFLPA, and this is where I'll go back to the union, should th- this rookie wage scale, and again, this is why I blame DeMora Smith in terms of even allowing that to happen. People, oh, the rookies are getting paid too much money. How are you going to complain somebody's getting paid too much money? But regardless. The rookie race scale and then running backs being placed into the same system as everybody else with these four and five year contracts. And and so to me, if I if I was running NFLPA and looking out for the running backs, I would argue they need a different do you, rookie system. Do you, do you understand the rookie wage scale, why why they did it? Do you you, you probably and here's nobody does. My actually the people who understand, like I'm I won't say nobody does. So maybe people here's what was happening, all right? The only positions that were getting drafted in the tops were quarterbacks because that guaranteed money was something that this was a position you can invest in. The Sam Bradfords, the all of that's all they was drafting. So the minute that they created this what they have now You'll take a D lineman, an O lineman. You'll take, you know what I'm saying? Because an Orlando Pace wouldn't get in the same money a, a Sam Bradford yep, got. They were and it was down. like, how can yep. you do this? Why would this happen? So what they did was, we got to fix this. We got to fix this. Other positions wouldn't get drafted high. They were only taking quarterbacks in those first because of the, the guaranteed the money, money the that money. you had to give them yep. because it was going up year by year. So now you see a D lineman. You, you see an offensive lineman, uh, you know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll see a run. Still see a lot of quarterbacks. You, you still do. But, but, now, but now the chance that you're taking is a calculated chance not that you would take on any other player. Not a $78 million contract. That was the last one, Stafford. That's when they stopped it. The Stafford and Bradford, those contracts? Yeah. Man. And then you're, you're, you're handcuffed as a team. That, that deal handcuffed you if the player bombed. 